Welcome back to another One Monroe Minute. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the difference between countersinking and counterboring. Countersinking and counterboring are both machining processes used to modify holes in materials, often for fasteners like screws and bolts. Countersinking involves creating a cone-shaped hole in a surface to allow a flathead fastener to sit flush when installed. This technique ensures that the top of the fastener is level with or slightly below the surface, preventing any snagging or potential damage. Forcing the screw without countersinking can cause wood to crack and split, as the fibers become damaged under pressure. Counterboring is a technique similar to countersinking, but with a few key differences. Instead of creating a cone-shaped hole, counterboring produces a larger hole with a flat bottom. A significant advantage of counterboring is that it accommodates fasteners such as hex bolts and head socket screws. The larger diameter is often designed to be wide enough to fit a socket or wrench, making it easier to tighten or loosen the fastener. Counterboring is commonly used in various industries, including automotive, aerospace, and construction, where precise and strong fastening is required. To learn more, be sure to reach out to one of our sales engineers. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos in the future, and we'll see you next time with another One Monroe Minute.